Hey guys, my name is Jason with Mount Bigger Mining Metals, and today we're going to be running a sample through our strap line, and we're going to be running a sample of this cast aluminum. It's all dirty though, and it's got these steel rings in it, uh, some of these quick lock releases. So we're going to, the goal is going to be to break up the aluminum, liberate the steel, and uh, pull it out with a magnet, and then all the non-ferrous is going to go out the end, and we'll catch that clean, and then we'll have a ferrous fraction as well. We're going to be running it through our 24 by 16 HD hammer mill here. It has a 2 inch by 3 inch screen in it. So it'll crush it all up, discharge it onto this conveyor belt. It'll run up under this cross belt magnet. It'll pull out any steel or ferrous material into this barrel. And then all the non-ferrous and non-magnetics will come off the end of the belt. And right now we're going to catch it in this box. So we'll get this thing fired up and we'll see how it works. So here's the results from our dirty cast aluminum through the scrap line. And here's our clean aluminum fraction. Here is our non or our ferrous fraction. And then I've done a little bit of hand picking here. I picked out some of the plastic and rubber, and there were a few pieces that had some non-ferrous little brass fittings on them and everything like that. So, but as you can see, we've cleaned up the cast aluminum. It's it's clean, there's no ferrous in it, and we've removed very, very little material. But now this cast aluminum is worth a lot more to a buyer because it's clean and doesn't have any ferrous in it. Um, I'll be interested to hear from you guys if it's worth going through and having a picking line to pick out the rubber or if that's okay if you just put it back in. Uh, I don't know if this is worth picking out if there would be enough of that in there. Um, but I wanted to give you guys kind of a representative sample of, of what we did and uh, what was possible. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one.